Okay, so this is a pour that I did yesterday and I don't like it at all. Um, I poured it from a vase to a record and I used a bunch of pinks and my big mistake was that I added blue. Obviously blue and pink is going to create purple. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I don't like purple and I just think it looks like a, a mess. And so I am going to quickly do another pour over it. And I think I'm just going to stick to pinks um, with a splash of this neon yellow and a little bit of black and some white. And I don't have a lot of pinks. I, so I brought in some red. I don't, I'm kind of running out of everything. And so I'm just going to use what I have and see what happens. I'm going to put white in first. And then I know that when the first color in is going to be the last color on top. And I do like to have a lot of white, so I'm just going to put some white in first. Not all of it. I'll layer these. Oh, and you know what? I think I'll add some bronze to this also. So, I don't know. Let's see. Do some red. And this is the last of that red, and it is called Vermilion Red. So that's gone. And then I think I'll do this Carnation Pink, and I hardly have any of this too. Just kind of using up what I have in this color family. And these are all pouring paints so they're already mixed which I'm kind of resorting to right now as I learn I'm such a beginner that I just for these vase pours I just don't want to oh goodness that is really thick <laughs> I don't like that that's gonna be a mess so I'm gonna try and take that out oh well see what we can do. Try and scoop some of that out. That's way too thick. I wonder if that's, I might not even have the right paint. Yeah, see that's not even a pouring paint and you can tell right away. <clears throat> so, Hopefully I got most of that out, but what I'll do, see if I have a black and that one is a pouring. Oh, what a mess. We'll just see what happens. <laughs> I'm pretty bad at planning anything I do, whether it's quilting or now this, I just kind of like to go fly by the seat of my pants and that can create some problems sometimes. There's the black. We'll add the bronze. A little bit of yellow in there. A little bit of neon pink. This is such a weird color combination. I don't know what's going to happen. Just have to see. Now I've pulled out brilliant red. And I'm just going to put it all in there. So that one's gone. And that carnation pink is gone. I think I'll add the rest of this rose pink. I'm going to add some white right next to it because I don't like how 
purple that rose pink is and hopefully the white can mix with it a little bit. We'll add that copper. Is that copper bronze? Okay, so I've used up, I'll put some more of the bronze in there. Used up almost all these bottles. Okay, I think I have enough paint now. So I'm just going to go for it. So this is actually before this, I did a pour over the vase and a record. And I really liked how the record turned out, but not the vase. And so that's the second pour over this vase. So now this is the third and I'm telling you what, I better like it. I'm going to do a little bit more white right at the end. That mix in a little bit. I don't know if that's going to really do it. I might have just messed up by adding that white. Okay, so that's a blob of the black. I can see it already. Look, this is going to be interesting. Where's my straw? Let's see, here it is. There's some of that black. Let's see. Get some of this down here. Mix. 
mix it in just a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to have enough paint for the record. My cup wasn't quite full enough. So I'm trying to think what I can do. I have a little bit more bronze left. Actually, I'll add it to the directly to the white paint. I've got a little bit of white left. I'll add some bronze. We'll just see what we have left. This is crazy. And any red, that would be good. Um, I've got a little bit of lemon yellow. It's very close to the neon. And let's see, that's really it. So let's do it. Make sure everything is dripping down. Checking to see if I have any of that, <coughs> that black paint, chunky black paint that I want to get rid of. I just got one piece. I'm not really seeing any more except maybe right there. Okay, I think I'm going to leave this alone now. It's interesting. I don't know what to think. I don't know what it's going to look like. Um, but I'm going to leave it alone for now and let it drip. Okay, maybe I'm not going to leave it alone. Let me just bring out some of that black right there. 
see if I have any more. Not really. Okay. Try and get a little bit more off the base. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because it takes so long for the base to dry with all that paint buildup. And so <clears throat> it does cause a lot of these colors to blend. So if you don't like that, then don't use a straw and blow. <coughs> I don't mind that. And I'm, it's interesting. So what I've got, I can't, you can't see it right now, but I've got these layers of orange and then kind of the layers of black and white and then some hot pink at the bottom. And I think that hot pink is all going to drip off onto the record. I don't know if it's going to be left on here. So I'm going to go ahead and blend some more of this orange just so it looks kind of uniform. Okay, I really think I'm going to leave it alone. It's I'm loving what's happening up here and not so much down here. But I think if I let it drip, I think there's another black blob. Goodness. Yep. So I'm just going to try to break that up. Um, so I think if I just leave it alone, that might be the best thing. because it will probably look completely different in a few hours. <clears throat> so I'm going to lift this off. And let that drip. And then we'll see what we can do with this record. Um, Pink. Oh, goodness. Okay, I think we'll go this way first. Get some of that paint off the edge. We'll bring it back. And then I think we'll go this way, get some of this paint off. We'll bring it back. We'll go this way. it back to the center. Then I just have to get this bottom edge. And then I'm going to bring that back.
And now I'm just going to get the extra paint off and we'll just see what we end up with. I feel like I have interesting designs coming from every side. All right, I'm gonna wipe off my hands real quick. Forgot to wear gloves. And I already see a little chunk of that black paint right there. So try and get that off. I don't know if it'll go off because it's so thick. All right, I'm going to pause and go over it with a torch. <coughs> and this is just going to pop the air bubbles. Shouldn't have worn a sweatshirt because it's really getting in my way. I'm going to try and tip that chunk off. There we go. That's good. Okay, I actually like this a lot. I'm gonna stretch out that green just a little bit because I like that. And I like the swirling design that's happening and all this stuff coming in from the edges. So, let me wipe my hands again. and take a look. All right, so here's what's happening right now. Again, the previous one that I did, I loved, and then I came back the next day and it looked completely different, like covered in purple. So I don't know what this is going to end up looking like, but for right now, I really like all this going on. I like, I can see like these shades of green and you'll notice I didn't add any green to this at all. So that's really interesting that that came out. And I just like all these swirls coming in from the sides. The black almost looks blue in there. So I'm not as a fan of this chunk of red but it is still interesting it's it's nice it's not terrible I guess and I love the hot pink swirls that kind of break it up so I think I'm gonna leave it and um, let it dry and just see what happens and we'll come back and take a look here is the final result. We'll talk about the vase first. Here you can see that first pour. We've got the black and the really clear striations and lines from that first pour. And then that last um, bit of paint that I poured over it and I blew with the straw, you can see that it's not as defined. So here's the really defined lines. And then here it just blends as it with the straw as it goes over the edge and i really actually like the combination of the two i like how you can see the second bit that i um, blew with the straw how it's dripping down and it just kind of stopped part way and i really like that look um, I like that chunk of white there so i'll just kind of turn it and show you and this this last bit with that um, I think it was lemon yellow and and the reds and everything it it just blended just like this fiery beautiful fiery 
orange color that I'm loving. And then here's a look at the, the lip of the vase. I love all of it. So, and then here you've got just this bit of gold. Let's see if we can see that. Um, so it turned out great. Here you can see my first pour was pink and then you've got purple on top. You can kind of see on the inside of the vase and then the last pour. So that's three pours on this vase till I got it to where I really like it. And I more than like it. I really love how that turned out. And then here is the record, the vinyl record. And you can see I turned it into a clock which is not hard to do. You just have to buy the clock mechanism and I do have to like drill the opening just a little wider than it already is. Not much. I put felt on the back. Um, but let me see if I can kind of dust it off. I really love how it turned out. You can see a little bit of the uh, record label through and I actually like that. I don't know if you can see it on camera. And then there's this one spot right here. And I have no idea what that is. I don't think it can be paint because the paint isn't flowing in that direction at all. So it must be coming through from the vinyl, but I don't know why. It's kind of interesting. But here, um, I'll show, this is the part that I didn't really like. The, just the red, clump of red part. And I actually really like it. I like all the different striations and just variation within that. It's almost like a red, wood grain look <clears throat> and then i really like this um, peachish orangish color going into the pale pink and right here we just have that fun splash of neon pink peeking through and some gold sparkle and then i like the black for contrast here and there that you see and also right here you see it just kind of peeking through and it adds a really um, nice contrast to the whole thing and again, right here, you can see some of that sparkle, which is just fun. It just adds interest to just like the black and all the colors they just add a lot of interest and variation to it. So, yep, there's the, the album and the clock. And again, just like all the other pours that I've done, it's interesting how different, completely different they look. It's the same cup of paint that was poured over the vase onto the clock it's the exact same cup of paint and yet they have a completely different look and feel to them it's just so fascinating so that's it i hope you enjoyed this pour and we'll just keep experimenting i'm brand new to this as i've said and so i'm just going to keep experimenting and having fun with this as i go and i am completely open to any um, tips and tricks that you may have. I know there's more experienced people out there and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks and have a great day.